Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Happening right now, record-breaking heat, wildfires, and threats of power outages continue to impact western states, including California, Utah, and Montana. Now, in California, people are being asked to conserve power as the heat continues. Ten cities in the Golden State setting all-time high temperature records earlier this week. And the heat wave in the state is expected to last through today before much cooler and wetter weather arrives. A new drought monitor showing the ongoing impact that high heat has had out in the west. Most of the area didn't see any precipitation this week, leading to drought expanding in Montana and northern Wyoming. 68% of the west is now in a drought. And it's not just power, but people in California are being asked to cut back on water use. The State Water Resources Control Board saying people use more than 10% less water in July, but that's still far below the 15% the state's governor requested last year. Ag Day's Michelle Rook reports on how this is impacting farmers in the state as key reservoirs used for irrigation continue to dry up. Clinton lingering drought in the number one agricultural state in the nation has continued to cut into fruit and vegetable production this season and forced farmers to make some tough decisions about how to allocate their scarce water resources. Now in the end, many have left some of the highest priced land in the country idle while they wait for rain. Daniel Bays farms about 3,000 acres, about 100 miles south of Sacramento. He raises a variety of row crops and higher value specialty crops like canning vegetables and fruits, plus walnuts and almonds. With continued record setting heat and drought in California and the lack of water for irrigation, he only planted half of the 600 acres he normally would devote to tomato production. The price is up. Um, on tomatoes, so it'd be a good crop to grow this year. We just didn't have uh, the water available for him. Instead, he left those acres fallow so they could allocate the scarce amount of irrigation water to higher value fruit and nut trees. However, Bayes was forced to take 170 acres of high dollar walnut and almond trees out of production early as well this year. Just with uh, what their production history had been, what our input costs were going to be, and uh, being short on water, we made the, the decision to pull those orchards out early. And as soon as we finish uh, almond harvest this year, we have um, a 60-acre field and another 75-acre field of almonds that will be coming out. Um, same. Bay says the trees in his orchard usually take about seven to eight years before they are producing enough to start paying back on their investment. And their lifespan is typically about 25 to 30 years. So to lose that long-term investment is a tough financial hit that will cost him for seasons to come. Bayes adds that on top of the drought, the local and state water restrictions they have in place have been getting much stricter over the last several years due to increased environmental regulations. That's making it increasingly a tougher challenge to keep farming in the state.